still one of the major, still one of the major issues with what I see in this anime of the reborn, reborn of the uh, of the Master Blade into another world or Hero King, Hero King, whatever you want to say, episode eleven. I'm kind of waiting on episode twelve. And um, one thing, one thing, I really am kind of concerned, basically in regards of the base where this anime is really going, really, uh, where it's going is basically it's Ripley. And I feel like Ripley is pretty much is pretty much is pretty, pretty much is the one who's basically actually doing this. But we really do not know one hundred percent if she's doing this on purpose or she's doing this by accident or anything like that. But there's also raising that a question is that. How she's able to summon to summon these monsters or beast monsters or something like that. So there's not really not really really much to say like what in the world's going on, and nobody does not even know. And no nobody does not um, does not even know. But the one thing, but the but the one thing I definitely do want to say here is that I'm not saying this anime is terrible, but it's just it's just that there's some you know like I said you know back in my previous episodes is that, that I still like to know more answers that we're just not really getting into that or something like that. So I really don't know. I really don't know. So I'm just kinda like just kinda like seeing like what may make may or may happen basically after after episode twelve and stuff like that. Now the first thing now the first thing I definitely want to talk about of Ripley because Ripley's pretty pretty much is pretty much the main focus basically in this arc as I do know as I do know right now. And the one thing the one thing is that Ripley that what's bothering me about Ripley is just basically some of the things I I said is is that we don't know if Ripley is doing this on purpose. So we don't know if Ripley is is doing this by accident or something like that, or why there must be why why is this this really is basically happening in the first place? Did she get cursed or did she get this gift or something like that or something or, or something like that? Now we don't know what what is she really actually doing. We don't know how she is summoning these monsters and stuff like that because I'm always afraid of because of someone maybe a bad person. Are probably going to use Ripley because 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 the power that she has, that she can't control any of any of her energy because she's unconscious. She doesn't even know what to do. She doesn't even know really actually basically what to do. And one other thing, one other thing, I've also want to say here also too. I'm really quite shocked and surprised because seeing Ripley, she has not really aged really much at all. And as you could just tell, she still looks like a normal teenager. You, know, I, I would I would basically would say, but she. But she's a lot older, a lot older now. But she's not really, she's not really aging, really all that much, or something, or less, or less that, or less that. She must have used like the fountain of youth for something like that for, basically, you know. So that that's just a, that's just a compliment, compliment I, I wanted, to, I want, I wanted to say. But one thing, the, but the, the, yeah, like I said, that's just a compliment. I basically, I want to say. It. But even though, even though, from basically from what's going on, and just see Ripley, just the way that she is, and just like. And the ways that she's basically been doing things and stuff like that, it makes no sense, and it makes no sense to me. But it just, it just really doesn't. It just, it just really, really doesn't. Because I think, uh, I think you know, demi humans do have a, do have a, do have a level that they can, that that they can increase or something like that, or maybe their age or something like that, or that maybe they just use something just to keep themselves very attractive, very young and stuff like that. And that's basically that's basically what it basically it actually feels to me. But still, but still, it still bothers me of the question is basically why is she doing this? Or maybe she's not the one who's doing this, or maybe there must be somebody else that must be controlling her. So there must be somebody out there, must be somebody out there that whoever is basically is doing this. Now I don't think it's not that this mask guy or something that I definitely want to get uh, get with him because I don't think it's not him. I don't think it's really not. Even though I would be very shocked that were that probably were that were like to were to be were to be him. Now, for example, concern. It seems to me. It seems to me that uh, what's her name? That Chris. It seems to me that Chris must have known must have known this person, or this could be the same person as Chris, or something like that. Or maybe it was something. Or maybe something that we really do not even know. However, I even said. I even said. Well, remember that testing that they did. That the testing that they did, you know, battling their, their demons or the battling their, you know, the stuff may, may have happened back in the past and stuff like that. Because you can tell Chris ran into one or went ran into one of her own subordinates, means ran into one of her comrades or or to people to 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 the uh, basically to the people. And to be honest with you, the the guy who's basically the new king, I'm really kind of curious if if that guy is the uh, is the king. 
with the one with the red hair, you know, basically with the mask on. I really do think so. I'm not one of the for sure, but I really, I really don't know if that really is the case or not. But I don't understand why would they said why would the animal basically say that she's like, you know, Chris is like saying like I'm battling with myself without, or maybe Chris may not know this person, or maybe Chris may think may think like whoever this person really actually is. He's very good at basically what he's doing. I don't think that, the, that this person with this mascot, I don't think this person is a major rival to Chris or anything like that or a major enemy. I don't think so. Maybe Chris is just basically just wants to see what's basically what's going on, what, what basically what's going on. Because I could just tell, like, the kid basically got hit, he got hit out of the air just like Team Rocket and stuff like that, you know. And the thing about the thing about this, the thing about the little kid. Is that, is that like he thinks he has all the advantage that he has, so he can win and stuff like that. And basically, that's what it feels to me. He thinks that his species is a lot more higher higher up than any other species out there. I mean, like human orcs, blood elves, or whatever you want to call them, or stuff like that. Basically, World of Warcraft. Even you know, I'm, I'm just basically, I'm just basically, you know, I'm just basically, I'm just saying, especially when you got the Highlanders. Because I'm not so sure what the Highlanders are really are. I'm not. Sure, I'm not one hundred percent sure, but I. I'm just just kind of questioning, just want to know, like who they basically really are and basically what they what did they do and stuff like that. But I want people just to. I just want people just to, just, you know, just just to understand that. I mean, some people may think that the anime is really bad. It's really it's not. It's just that to me, some of the answers were not were not getting. Enough clarity based on what's going on based on this anime also small too, uh, also small too. Because I I even said my major issue is about when Chris met the, met the new king, uh, met the new met the new king. So I'm assuming so I'm assuming he's probably still around, and I'm assuming he's probably still you know based on what's kingdom. But even though within the library of the of the uh, of, of that one episode where Chris was like looking through the books and like trying to find out what's what may happen back in the past. Somebody must somebody must have toyed with the books or something like that in the library and it must have took someone must have took took the history out of out of that because I was just really kind of curious like why would somebody would basically want to do something like that because that's what I definitely do think or they must have stood in the books and just or maybe there's somebody else somebody else out there that must know Chris and basically what Chris is really actually doing because I'm, I also want to say her also too. Like, if somebody were to know, like, everything about Chris, like, how he got to, basically, into another world, some people would recognize Chris as, basically, yeah, he's he's the king, because he was he was king from a long time ago. And, basically, that's basically, basically he really had a chance. Now, I don't know the name of the, the, name of, of the king he used to be. I, I don't know, or, so, or they just call him his majesty, and stuff like that. But you also, also have to remember, also, too, because when Chris, when Chris died, not the girl, but I'm talking about the king of himself. But when he died, when he died, he asked for, uh, I think the goddess asked for one request and saying like, she said like, what do you, what is your wish? What do you, what is your request? What do you want to do? And so that, even though, even though it's kind of very rare for a goddess just to basically just to say like, what do you really want? And stuff like that. Because even though Chris, or the base not Chris, but even though that the king, the king himself, he said he asked, he wants to, he wants to be reincarnated into another life. Means that he wants to be something, something more different. Uh, so, you know, basically something more different. And I, I, I like the fact at the beginning of the anime because where it shows Chris, where he's just basically a child. That's basically all he is. And then you just start growing up and, and stuff like that. And people don't even, people don't really, don't even realize like how strong, how strong Chris really was from back then. And so, yeah, from from back then. And people would probably say like, yeah. Oh yeah, Chris is no ordinary child because he really is not. Because he's a lot, he's a lot more different than basically what it basically, basically what it basically it basically what it basically it feels to me. I feel like that the king is basically has become very very relevant basically in this anime because because what happened because what happened to Chris because when he chose his dad, he wants to reincarnate into another life, reincarnate into another life. But there is a very good question, which I want to ask here is this, is that why did the king ask as the goddess and say, like, I want to be reincarnated into another life? Now, that has me kind of wondering and also concerned, because number one, I definitely do think that the king made some major mistakes back in the past that was just not right or something like that, or maybe he just wants to rewrite 
rewrite, rewrite history altogether. I don't know. That's basically what, basically, basically what I think. Because there must be some kind of reason why. How did he die? What did he die of? Did he die of being sick? Did he die of in, in a war? Did he, did he have a heart attack? We, we really don't even we really don't even know that that's basically what it basically feels to me. But I'm also also thinking also well too because I don't think nobody has ever done there never thought about this well too. What if what if the king were to were to been, um, and what if what if were the king were were to basically to be killed by a spy? Because we, we really actually don't know who's the spy really is yes, but even though I think I do know. I think I do know. Because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it probably has to do with the guy with the red hair who's gonna be the second man in command means that he's gonna be taking the altar being king. Being king. So I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming is that this guy who is basically the king now is basically is basically who one the one who killed Chris. That that's my opinion. That's what I think. Some people will probably disagree with me on that, but that's just basically what I definitely do think. So, so yeah. Now, I'm really kind of curious about episode 12 because I don't know what, what, what they're going to really actually do with episode 12. Is that I really am very, very serious about, like, basically, whatever episode 12 brings, it's going to be something major is going to go on with that episode. That's something, that's something that episode is going to be something very, something is, is going to, it's, it's going to be something, it's going to be something. That we have not seen basically in quite some time based with this anime. The anime is really is good, but if I want to give it early my early prediction for this anime, based for the whole entire anime, just for for a score of this anime, I know I should not be doing it for episode eleven, but I, I may change my mind. But I want to give I want to give this series a seven point five. A seven point five. That's just my opinion because it's just some of the things that. That it feels to me, it's just not has been answered and stuff like that. And you know, I would like to know some answers, but we just we really don't get to really actually see really we don't we don't really don't get really much of anything. So I don't I don't know. That's maybe that's a very good possibility. I could change my mind stuff like that, but I'm just gonna stick with the seven point five for right now until episode twelve comes out and see where where I want to take it. Now, like I said, before, I don't want people to think that the anime is terrible. It's not. It's just that the answers. Or just not come become clear for me, based to see what's going on and stuff like that. That's basically that's basically I really would like to see. So, I mean, so like like I said, some people probably will disagree, you know, even though that's fine. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that's it for those uh, anime uh, anime review. Tell me what you guys think. So, anyway, since I know it's anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care. I'll give you one wonderful day. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And thanks to the notification bell as well too. Uh, hit head for the notification for all small too, and please leave uh, yeah, like us, I'm pleased you come to come up. But, anyways, it's not I'll see you guys later. Take care, hope you get a wonderful day. Take care, God bless. Remember, so I love you guys. Please stay safe, and stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care, bye.